morning to everyone. Welcome to today's level one different strokes exercise program. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you enjoyed the last session that we had. This week's the last week of working on overall fitness and health. Um, and we're going to have another intense exercise program today. We've got three different circuits. Um, the first and third circuit have both got three exercises in them and they're all a minute long. Um, for each exercise and then the second circuit has only got two exercises in it which will be performing for two minutes. Um, you won't need a lot of equipment for this one today, we're just going to need a weight and possibly a cushion if you want to use a cushion. Um, you don't have to have a cushion for this one, you mostly just need something that's um, weighted um, for those of you who want to work a little bit harder on them exercises um, and we don't really need anything else apart from that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into a lot to cover today. Um, we're going to be working first of all on the first circuit which is looking at more um, back and shoulder strength. So for this one, the first one we're going to be doing is wood choppers. So you are going to need a weight for this one and all we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming up overhead and we're coming down towards the floor like so. Make sure that your knees are shoulder width apart as you do this one so coming down and onto the floor. So we're going to start this in three two, one, and go. Coming up overhead, and down to the floor. Now, so make sure during this one we're not bending forwards either. So we're keeping our back nice and straight for this exercise. Good, keep going. That's it, five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely, right, for the next one we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing weighted lateral trunk flexion. So for this one, all I'm going to get you to do is we're going to do 30 seconds on both sides, unless you've got two weights to hold in both hands. All we're going to be doing is 30 seconds coming down with the weight in the same hand that we're leaning over to, so coming down and back up. Making sure we keep the back straight, we're just bending to the side, we're not bending forwards, just to the side and back up. After 30 seconds, we're going to change and do the same on the other side. If you need help holding it, um, on one side more than the other, then you by all means you can hold on to it with the other hand and lean over to the side, or if you've got somebody around to give you a hand, they can just hold your hand to make sure that you don't drop that weight on the floor if you're on the other side, that's fine as well. We're going to go start in three, two, one, go. So 30 seconds on one side. And we're going to swap. Six and five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Lovely. For the last one of this circuit, before we have a quick break, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing overhead back extension. So for this one, we're just going to lift the weight up overhead. And as we do that, we're going to make sure we extend that back inside, which looks something like this. So we're coming up, back remains straight. We're not coming forwards or leaning forwards. We just keep that back nice and straight, chest nice and high, lifting the arms up, holding it for a few seconds, and then back down, and then up again and back down. Okay, we're going to be doing that for a minute. So we'll start in three, 
two, one, and go. Here you go. Just a little less than five centimeters. Good, keep going. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely. So everybody grab a quick drink, a quick break, that's the first circuit done. So we're going to be moving on to the second circuit. So this was going to be for two minutes um, and we're going to be performing it only once. We'll be going back to the first circuit if we have enough time towards the end, um, but we'll be moving on to the second one now. So what we're going to be doing is to start off with this one. We're going to do just two minutes, nice cardio work. Uh, you can use a cushion for this one, but we're just going to be doing stepping forwards and back with the feet. Just going forwards, forwards, back, back, forwards, forwards, back, back. Now if you've got a cushion, you can step onto the cushion so you can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four with the cushion. However, you don't need to use the cushion because you don't want to. Okay, so I'll just let everybody have a drink for a little bit longer. We'll get into it. If you're still having a drink or still having a break at this point, then please press pause and then join us back in a moment. We'll just finish your break. And we're going to go straight into the stepping forwards and back. So we're going to be doing this one for two minutes. So we'll start three, two, one, and go. So stepping forwards and back. Good, keep going. 30 seconds through the first minute. One, two, you can speed up as well. If you want to make it slightly more intense, you can step forwards and forwards and then back and back a lot quicker. Or you can keep going at the same pace if you want. This is all about working on that cardio system. Improving that cardiovascular. Keep going less than a minute left. Yeah, this is really working on making sure that our blood's pumping around nice and efficiently, working on our airways and our ability to breathe in oxygen and pump around the body a lot more efficiently. Keep going. Good. 30 seconds left. It's just a good way to build up endurance as well. For any of you guys that are, you know, currently going through rehab that want to try and get back to some form of walking, it's really good to just build up endurance in those legs. So when it comes to attempting to do some walking, you know, with a therapist, if you've got any aid or anybody that comes to the house to help you out with that, then you can build up that endurance to try and help yourselves push that a little bit further. And we're going to stop at five, four, three. Two, one, and stop there. So moving on to the next one, we're going to be doing punches. So we're mostly going to be doing 30 seconds punching forwards, then 30 seconds punching to the right, then to the left, and then last but not least, we're going to do 30 seconds punching from up, going down. So it'll be 30 seconds that way, 30 seconds that way, 30 seconds to the left, and literally starting from the top, we'll work our way down to the bottom for the last 30 seconds and then back up like so. Okay, we're going to do this for two minutes and we'll start in three, two, one and go. Start off by punching forwards.
that's it and then we're going to go and change your three two one and now punch to the right Good, keep going. 15 seconds before we change. Five, four, three, two, one, and then change. Fifteen seconds. Okay, if you need a little bit of aid in this one, I always get somebody there to punch it out of the hand. If not, you can do it holding hands together and punching. Then we're going to change one last time. So, like I said, you can either punch it up or make your way down like that, or just normal punches like so. Set and five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. All right, moving on to the next break. So we're now we're going to go into the third circuit, which we're going back to similar to the first circuit. This is mostly working on core, hip, and um, lower limb sort of strengthening and exercising. Um, we're going to be doing each exercise for a minute. And then we're going to go back to the first circuit and repeat it after that, and then repeat the third circuit and then finish there. Um, so the first thing we're going to be doing is going to be trunk twist. So you keep have hands on your shoulders or hand, holding hands together, keeping them close to the chest, and making sure that we're twisting our whole body and our head round to the side, and then the other way. Try not to just let your arms drop from side to side like that, because that's not going to work your core as much. Or if you want to make it even easier for yourself if you hold your hands together, palms face each other like so, and then twist, it will allow you to see that you're actually twisting your arms and your whole body around as opposed to just twisting your head from side to side or just bringing the arms from side to side because you're keeping it close to your chest and then twisting your whole body around. So we're going to do this one for a minute and we'll start in three, two, one, and go. For any of you guys that are still Having a break, that's fine. Please press pause and join us again in a moment. So, so twisting all the way around, head and chest twisting for this one. You don't have to do this at a really quick pace, you can keep it nice and slow. It makes you feel a little bit dizzy as you do this one as well. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good. Now for the next one, all we're going to be doing is we're just going to be doing hip flexors. So this one, we're basically just going to be doing high knee marches. However, we need to keep it held in the air for a second or two before swapping over to the other side. Okay. So we try and keep it in the air. Maybe even count one, two, three back down, and then on the other side, one, two, three, and back down again. Okay, if you struggle to lift one side up off the floor, you can use your hands to help lift the leg up, hold it there for a few seconds before coming back down. Entirely up to you. But yeah, we'll get straight into it in three, two, one, and go. So, hold it for a few seconds, and then back. Thirty seconds left. Keep going. Good. 
three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely. So for the last one, all we're going to be doing is sit up. So for this one, we're just going to have hands over our shoulders, keeping hands together. We're going to sit in the first position on our chest. We can lean back a little bit. And all we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming forwards over the knees. Then we're coming back, leaning back a little bit in the chair, and then forwards again. We're going to be doing this one for a minute. Okay, and then after this, we'll have another break, then go straight into the first circuit again. So we'll start three, two, one, and go. So coming forwards, and then Thirty seconds left to go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. One and stop that. Lovely. So, if you need another drink, please grab one. If not, we are going to be moving straight into the next circuit. So, if you do have to take a drink or need a rest, then by all means press the pause button to join us back again in a moment. We're going to go straight back into the wood chopper ones with the weights. And we're going to be doing the last circuit, um, the last one of these circuits, shall I say, um, working on upper limb and then a little bit of. Back, lower back as well, and then go straight back into the last circuit. So, we're going to start with the wood chopper, so holding on to that weight, coming up overhead, make sure the back is straight, and then back towards the floor. Okay, we're going to start in three, two, one, and go. So, up above the head, and back towards the floor. Now, if you're struggling to use the weight for this one, you can just use your hands. You don't have to use the weight. Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop that. Lovely. For the next one, we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing lateral trunk flexion. So that's the one we had the weight to the side. We're just leaning about, bending forwards. We're going to do this one for a minute. So we'll start three, two, one, and go. And at the thirty-second mark. We'll be swapping sides. We'll be changing three, two, one, and swap. Ten seconds left. And stop. Now for this we don't have to use the weight a lot we did the first time around. All we're going to be doing is overhead back extension. So just bringing the arms up overhead, extending our back forward, holding that position for a few seconds, and then back down again. Similar to the wood chops, but this time we're making sure that we really work on that back extension more than anything else. So we're going to do this one for a minute and we'll start in three, two, 
one and go. So make sure that back's nice and straight, hold it there for a few seconds. And then back down with straight arm. That's it, good. Sit first, seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Five, four, three. Two, one, and stop there. Good. So everybody grab another quick break, do another quick drink, and we're going to then move on to the last circuit in just a moment. So the first one that we'll be doing will be trunk twists again. Give our hands on shoulders, holding hands like so, just in from side to side. Like I said, take your time with this one. If it starts to make you feel a bit dizzy, then you can stop. Um, but try and go try and go a little bit slow if you are starting to feel a little bit dizzy. This one does work your vestibular system a little bit, which is your balance system and how your body copes with um, fast movements and disbands as the, um, the quick movement that you're doing. So we'll be starting this in three, two, one. And again, if you need a little bit longer to have a break, then please press the pause button. Thirty seconds left. Five, four, three, two. One and stop there. We're then going to move on to the next one, which is the flexion one. So bring the leg up into the air, hold it for a few seconds, and then back down and change into the other side. We're going to start that in three, two, one, and go. Almost halfway. Fifteen seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good. So moving on to the last one, we're just doing sit up, sit up, body forward on that chair, hands on the shoulders, we're leaning back, and then forth over our knees. Okay, we're going to start in three, two, one, and go. And this is the last one we're going to be doing today. Going. 
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And stop there. Well done. Let's give yourselves a little bit of a little bit of a shake, a few twists. Just to make sure we're nice and limber the power after that one. So well done today, everyone. That brings us to the end of today's level one um, different strokes exercise program. Um, like I said, this is the last one working on fitness and just general health and mobility for um, this uh, month. Next month, we're going to be moving on to some more um, specific exercise programs um, with the um, theme of working on body posture um, in different positions. So next week we'll be looking at more of upper upper, um, upper limb mobility and upper limb posture. So more so back posture, shoulder posture, um, and doing a lot of exercises that helps work on that um, aspect and a lot of stretches as well. Uh, so it might not be as intense as some of the other programs that we've had before, but this is mostly just to make sure that we're all Staying in a good posture, you know, we're not too slumped forward, you know, that we feel nice and mobile when we go out and about. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.